Tommy, a draw, what are your thoughts after that one? Yeah, I thought it was a really dominating performance. Mm. We had a lot of the ball and we had a lot of chances, um, but they always carry a threat. You know, we know Tav really well. I thought he worked his absolute socks off the whole game, a lot of it for nothing. Um, but just trying to put pressure and force an error or whatever. So he's, he's earned his goal in fairness to the lad. Um, but yeah, listen, it's, it's a little bit frustrating because I felt, I felt we did enough to win the game. Um, but we've got to move on again. It, it's, and I keep saying this to you, there's no bigger game than the next one. So this one's gone, it's, it's shelved and we've got our eyes on uh, Maidenhead for the next Friday. Yeah, as you say, frustrations because the first half performance definitely we maybe yeah. should have gone into the break in front. But hey, we got back into the mm. game, we got a point, we're still undefeated at the EBB Stadium in, in recent times and, and positives to take from it. Oh yeah, it? listen, I mean, just look at the table, we, you don't fall to the top of the table, yeah. you know, so I'm really I'm really pleased in general with the way we've approached the game. We've made three changes to the team in personnel. I thought all three lads who come in did really, really well. Um, and young Maxi got back on the pitch, which has yeah. been a little while for him. So there's huge positives for me, but Scotty getting through just about 90, Theo getting 90 and Harry getting 65. Oh, that was the plan, you know. We we need we're going to need all these players between now and the end of the season. Um, but it, you know, if, if the season finished tomorrow, we'd be in a really good position. As you say, an, another strength and depth uh, thing out there today. You lose Kwame to international duty. You lose Jack to an injury recently. But you're able to call on Hadi yeah. today, and and he did all right. Yeah, he did well. He? he did very well. I thought he was unlucky not to score. He probably he probably think he should have scored the, with the header. But I thought he look, he's got energy like Jack. He's he's as quick near enough as Jack. So he's he's. He's a leg for leg, so it's no brainer for us to, you know, to to use him the way we do. But um, yeah, he's been out a long time injured, but done very well on his loan. So he's there on merit, and you know he's fighting for the for the starting berth, which is brilliant. And Dylan Kaji impressing again in, a, yeah. in an unfamiliar position for him, but he, he didn't really put a foot wrong at all, did no, he? No, he listen for a young lad. He's got he's got mature head on his shoulders. He's he, he's done whatever we've asked of him in both the roles we've asked him to play, and he may well play in, in, in different roles on occasion. But like he showed there against a good striker, striker and a decent team, when they got you know, when they got you in the back foot, they're they're, they're a good you know, a handful. You know, like I said, they, they do bring a goal threat. So. Other than them hitting the post a couple of times, and I think Jordy made a good save in the first half, we, we limited them to a lot other than their goal. That's the frustration. I, I think a team that wins this league wins that game 1-0. Um, and neither of us are going to win the league, are we? Well, not after today. But, I mean, a fantastic record this season against the teams that have been around us in this playoff battle. And, and again, avoiding defeat against one of those sides has to be... A really good positive. Yeah, I mean, some stat will definitely tell me that, but we don't take enough points against the bottom. <laughs> like I said, I'm in my program notes, at this stage of the season, every team in this division has a real desire to take points, whether it's to keep away from the trapdoor or to try and push in to the party at the end of the season. So we're no different. Like I said, we approach every game as we can. If we lose a game, I love the way our lads react. Um, we go down a goal at home. Doesn't worry me at all. I, I felt I felt we were going to score a goal. I believe, but we've always got goals in us. And today it wasn't where we star boys, if you like, in terms of the, the front the front end. It was Kian who stepped up. So yeah, listen, I've got to, got to be happy with the point. Yeah. And lastly, speaking about Kian from the spot, he's just been fantastic there this season, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact that I think we've got six or seven penalties mm. that he scored um, just shows you we, we do get into the opposition box, and make make them make decisions, and we've got forwards who are you know nimble and nifty enough to to attract a tackle when the, the defender probably didn't want to do one. So, look, like I said, on the whole, I've got to be happy with a point because we went one little down and it looked like they were going to see it out. But uh, well, our lads kept going and uh, showed some real spirit. So I was really pleased.